Hello YouTube. Hello fellow YouTubers. This is Mr. Jeremy. Today, 2007, uh, August 26, 2007, Sunday. Last night, me and my girlfriend went to a wrestling match. It was just a local amateur wrestling match to say the least in my hometown and I met a famous wrestler who was famous more so back in the 80s than he is nowadays I got my picture with him and he uh signed a few autographs for me and here is one of those autographs ladies and gentlemen mr. Jake the snake Roberts Jake the snake there he is giving ravishing Rick rude his snake Damien at that time and there's his autograph as you know most famous people or any other kind of person uh, signs an autograph they scribble I told my name and everything and not that it matters right there I'm gonna leave it up there just a little bit longer so that you wrestling fans who are youtubers as well and I know I have a few friends on youtubers that are major wrestling fans well there you go I met Jake the Snake Roberts uh, you know back in the 80s I was a little kid and I used to watch wrestling I used to love wrestling. I was the biggest wrestling fan you've ever seen. I had the the wrestling buddies. I had wrestling this, wrestling magazines, everything. In 1989 or 1990, 91, maybe 92, somewhere in there, I quit watching wrestling. I quit when my hero, my outstanding hero, which was a lot of kids' hero back then, Mr. WWF Champion, the Hulkster, Hulk, Hulk, oh man, it's too much left, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, okay, there he is, probably somewhere back in the 80s where he actually looked like a genuine champion okay there's Hulk Hogan now <clears throat> Hulk Hogan started Hulkamania actually back in 77 when he was acquired from Vince McMahon senior as Terry Bollea uh, Vince McMahon Sr. gave him his name, The Hawk. That's what his name was, The Hawk. And Hogan was added sometime later. I don't know why or where that came from. Maybe it was Hogan. Maybe uh, somebody was a fan of Hogan's Heroes or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Terry Bollea, Hulk Hogan, when I was a little kid, eight. 9, 10, 11 years old, 12 years old, I used to love Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was the shit. I mean, he was everything to a kid my age back in the 80s. He was the man. You know, he was like The Rock is today, or like Stone Cold Steve Austin is today. And actually, those two wrestlers, they're gone now, so I can't say today, but... You know, back in the 90s, uh, Hulk Hogan left the WWF. And I say WWF because back then, it was WWF. It wasn't WWE. You know what Jake the Snake Roberts told me last night? Or told the entire audience last night? What World Rest what WWE stand for? Uh, world's Worst Entertainment. That's what he said. And, uh, anyway. 
Hulk Hogan left in the 90s to go to WCW. When he went to WCW, I felt like my heart just got ripped out. Because when I was a little kid, all I ever knew was WWF. All I was ever a fan of was WWF. I never knew nothing about WCW. But you know what? When Hulk Hogan left the WWF, I started watching WCW. I started watching, and he was a good guy over there. He was a good guy. They changed the song a little bit, I noticed. But he was a good guy over there for a little while. Then, in the late... In the late 90s, he changed from the wholesome red and yellow Hulk Hogan, or yellow and red Hulk Hogan, excuse me, to Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And when he became Hollywood Hulk Hogan, that's when I went like this. But you got to understand, I was still 15, 16, maybe 17 years old. And that absolutely broke my heart. You know. But when. But after a while. My friends started talking about this Hollywood Hogan. They started talking about Kevin Nash. And Scott Hall. And all these other guys. And then. And then. I got a little bit older. And I started watching basketball. Baseball. Other kinds of sports. You know, and I really got into the Chicago Bulls, which were a really good team at that time, ladies and gentlemen, in the 90s. So, now we're talking about a few years after Hogan had become Hollywood Hogan, and when Dennis Rodman got into the picture a little bit, I started liking Hollywood Hogan. I liked Hollywood Hogan so much, I didn't really like it when he became a good guy again. Then, after he became a good guy, I started watching WWF again when I started hearing about The Rock. I started hearing about Rocky Maivia and Rocky this and Rocky that. When I first started hearing Rocky, I was thinking about Rocky as in Rocky Balboa. Because I'd never heard of The Rock. So I started hearing this chant, Rocky, 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 Rocky. You know, and I thought, who the hell are they chanting for? Well then, this wrestler that I've never seen before, The Rock, came on the scene in the late 90s. So I started watching WWF again, and I quit following WCW, and then every once in a while, I would switch back and forth, like on Monday nights. I'd watch Monday Night Raw, and then I'd switch over to Nitro in between the commercials. But then, sometime later, Last year, maybe the year before that, I kind of quit watching wrestling. It was getting to the point where there was so much talk, and there was so many storylines, it became a nighttime soap opera. It became a soap opera for men. For men, okay? And after The Rock left, and after Stone Cold left, and Batista kind of took over, and then it was Batista, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, whatever. I kind of stopped watching wrestling. So now I'm getting into local wrestling, wrestling in my hometown. And I watch these guys, and they go in there, and they put their bodies on the line night after night. They do amazing stuff, and it's so amazing to watch these local uh, amateur wrestlers as you would refer to them as and it uh, looks like my time's almost up so I will discuss this topic on another blog thank you and good night and good luck